Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you the amazing catalytic oxidation of ammonia. Check this out. For this experiment, we're going to use chromium trioxide, a 4,000 milliliter reagent bottle, concentrated ammonium hydroxide, a dropper, a Bunsen burner. This is a blast shield and a flame blanket for safety. The first step is to add your ammonium hydroxide to your 4,000 milliliter reagent bottle. So I'm going to add several drops along the edge of my bottle, and then I'm going to increase the surface area by simply rolling it around. So spread some ammonium hydroxide. So this is gonna end up being about 10 milliliters. Put the cap on your bottle and then simply roll it around. And by increasing the surface area, you'll help ammonium hydroxide to start to vaporize. And that should be about right. Next, you're gonna prepare your catalyst by adding just a gram of chromium trioxide to the end of your deflagration spoon. You're going to heat this over your Bunsen burner till it's red hot, and then you'll sprinkle it over your ammonia vapors to oxidize your ammonia. Okay, now we're ready to start heating up our chromium trioxide. We're gonna do this till it's red hot. Here's the balanced equation for this awesome redox reaction. We start with the reactants, chromium trioxide and ammonia. Chromium trioxide is the Cr2O3, and we have two moles of ammonia, that's the 2NH3. Now when activation energy is applied, we get the products chromium, nitrogen, and water. We have two moles of chromium, that's the 2Cr, the diatomic molecule of nitrogen gas, that's N2, and we have three moles of water, that's the 3H2O. This is a reduction oxidation reaction as ammonia is being oxidized, it's losing electrons, and chromium is being reduced as it gains electrons in this amazing reaction. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.